Hi Scorpio, it's Power and Light Tarot coming at you with the reading. And Scorpio, this is going to be one of their true intentions and love. It is. And uh, Scorpio, I hope you guys are all well. <coughs> the whole reading could be switched. And check your moon and your rising videos, Scorpio. All right? We're going to start your reading out today, Scorpio, with, <coughs> with the gypsy spread. I feel like Scorpios can really relate to that, right? Because Scorpios are kind of like the psychics of the world. Scorpio and Pisces. And, you know, sometimes some other people. But for you, you guys uh, rule Pluto, which is the planet of death and transformation. Yeah, there's many psychics that are Scorpios and Pisces. That's just how it goes, you guys. So let's see what we got. And, uh, and you guys don't fear death. Uh, the Scorpio who was kind of really... Uh, kind of uh, ascended, right, does not fear death. No, let's look at the gypsy spread. We're going to complete the gypsy spread, Scorpio, in the extended reading, right? Let's see what we got for you guys. And uh, the current, your present situation is the lover. So, you know, they got this guy looking like a... Uh, uh, I don't know, but, you know, in those days they kind of had bloomers on. <laughs> Let's see, in the past, Scorpio, was the wedding. So maybe you married somebody in the past. This could be your person. Uh, but this is interesting, the wedding and the lover. This, These are like opposite cards, kind of. They are. One is about a marriage and one is about a lover. Like, yeah. Let's see what else we have. And, and what's unfolding for you is the thought. This is worry unfolding. Your obstacle is the servant, okay? And this is like, it's going to be saying you're in a relationship here and your husband is cheating with the maid but or the housekeeper, something like that. But it doesn't have to be. That is, you know, we're not going to base this whole reading on that, those, you know, on that exactly. But I feel like you are worried, though. You could be worried here that you might have married somebody and you're worried here they have a lover. It could be because these cards look that way. The servant in the recent, and this is the obstacle. Maybe you have been uh, too submissive with them, possibly. And remember, the reading could be switched. But the servant kind of talks about, you know, submission, right? Uh, it can talk about somebody who kind of, you know, maybe an employee sometimes, but it, this is the obstacle. It can also talk about somebody who is, maybe who doesn't really work, right? And make, you know, work outside of the home and, this could be part of the obstacle. Now, you know, what am I going to do if my relationship breaks down and I've been home taking care of the kids? It could be. This is, I feel like, about a marriage. I feel like it is. Let's look at your advice, and it is size, S-I-G-H-S, and this is, uh, the the advice is kind of like, you know, uh, this, could, this can be loneliness. It can, the size, right? And this is like kind of uncertainty here. Mm -hmm. It can be separation, the uh, advice. We're going to, you know, uh, I don't want to be negative in this reading, but this is kind of how this, this is how these cards are looking here. We're going to look in the other reading, though. Uh, I mean, in the extended, we're going to go ahead and clarify these cards, right? But there is worry here unfolding, there is. But let's get into the reading here, Scorpio, to find out what the situation is. Let's see what we have. And in the recent past for you, Scorpio, your energy was... The Queen of Wands, and this could be, maybe you were thinking about an Aries Leo or a Sag. Uh, this could have been passion in the past. I feel like this is a person, possibly, yeah. And we have the Knight of Wands now. This is action and drive. They're showing the boar. The Two of Crystals is in the reverse. This is the Two of Pentacles. It's in the reverse. Balance and adaptability. This is your challenge. Yeah, you are, you're not feeling balanced right now. No, you're not. The Six of Wands is what you want, so you want, like, you want to win this situation. You're worried about your union, and you're feeling a, an imbalance here. You want, like, this is the Six of Wands, like, you want to win, and your fear is the Seven of Swords. Oh, God, prepar this is like sneakiness, but this is also preparation and resourcefulness. Resourcefulness is a nice way to say that somebody's kind of sneaky. It can be. This is your fear. You're afraid, you're afraid here that your person is, like, Preparing to go. I feel like this is it. Your person's energy is the two of swords reversed. Two of feathers. Decisions and directions. They already made a decision in the recent past. It could be about a queen of wands. Aries Leo or Sag.
the Four of Cups, the Shells, the Four of Shells is, they are soul searching here and reevaluating. This is the Four of Cups in this particular reading, in this particular deck, I beg your pardon. So here they are soul searching. In the past they already made a decision, but now they are reevaluating something here. They could have made a decision and they are studying that decision right now. In their challenge is the Five of Cups reversed. This is hope and uh, readjustment. Mm -hmm. This could be seen as the Five of Cups in the reverse, like a new beginning is their challenge. Could be. Your person is like, I just feel like they are lacking some hope here. You look like you're married to this person and they have like a lover and you're worried about it. That's kind of it. And the awakening card is what they want. They want a renewal with somebody, enlightenment. They want a renewal. Yeah, and you know it. And you're, yeah, this is it. And let's look at your fear, Scorpio, their fear, Scorpio, I beg your pardon, the world fulfillment. They're afraid they're not going to fulfill this renewal that they want. This reading can be switched, but let's get a card here on your current energy, Scorpio. Let's see here. The Knight of Acorns is your current energy. And you have the Queen of Wands and the Queen of Wands and the Knight of Wands here. Uh, let's see, you have the Six of Crystals. This is the same thing as the Six of Cups. Your energy here is, uh, you could be taking energy to maybe be with, or, or not be with, but you could be taking energy, uh, taking action, taking energy, taking action right now. There's somebody in the past, Six of, oh, this is Six of Pentacles, I beg your pardon. So this is about, uh, I feel like you, you have some drive here. You're taking action on. Let's see. This is uh, incomplete. Two of Wands, insight. You're all in your insight and your focus here. I feel like it's about this person taking action. I also feel like your person here is giving to somebody else. And this is why we have... Uh, the lover in the current energy here and in the past there was a wedding and you are this worry here unfolding you're worried here about your person you're trying to get your insight Scorpio you are right you're trying to understand what's going on focus what's going on here in the past, you have the Queen of Wands. Let's see what this is about. This is incomplete here. The Seven of Cups, Choice and Ambitions. So you made a choice. I feel like your person did, and you're trying to gain focus. Like you're trying to understand, insight rather. You're trying to understand what they, were, what they are doing. This is why the Worry card is here and the Thought card is unfolding. You're trying to understand what they are doing if they are making a choice. Possibly about a Queen of Wands. Six of Cups. Somebody from the past. You are trying to understand here. This person, I feel like your person made a choice here. And I feel like it's to return to somebody from their past who could be a, a, a fire sign. Or they are a fire sign, your person. You're trying to understand it now. Like, you, or they made the, the decision... And you could be maybe not of complete understanding. Like, you might not know. Like, they didn't come and tell you. Or, you know, you might not. Like, you, you, this could be like your own kind of intuition. As I was saying, you guys are the psychics of the world. You could be using your intuition. Like, I think something's going on with my person and somebody from their past. Like, they're going back to somebody. Or they are dealing with somebody from their past. You're trying to gain, like, you want to understand what's going on in front of you. They're not telling you for sure. The Two of Pentacles is your challenge. This is your balance. You're like, this is like, like, maybe you have to adapt to this situation, but I feel like you are feeling totally imbalanced, the moon. And this is uh, perception. 
this is your challenge to understand here and perceive really what's going on, right? Yeah, the moon. This is a secret. And this is also wisdom in your challenge. Like you really want to be wise on this. You really want to know what's going on. The six of wands is what you want. This is to win. And you have the queen of swords, perception and truth. You are so trying to figure out what's going on here. And that's why thought is unfolding here, like worry. You want the truth. This person's not telling you the truth. You want to win. Like you, you want to understand here, but part of your success here could just be understanding what's going on. Like, don't dupe me anymore. Don't try to fool me. I want to know what's going on. The seven of swords is what you're afraid of. You're afraid, you're afraid or fearing that your person is like preparing here, that they're being sneaky, like with their own resources, kind of like their own, you know, kind of sneaky qualities, kind of, right? Resourcefulness is kind of a, it's a nice way to say, like you're a shyster, kind of, like, it, it, right? It is, it can be. This is what you're fearing. Like this person is gathering all their resources and preparing to go. I feel like this is what you're afraid of. And the Seven of Swords in the traditional tarot is always seen as the sneaky guy running away. The liar, the ladrone, right? The robber. Uh, and the Four of uh, Pentacles is here. Control and security. Yeah, you're, 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 you're afraid of losing your security here. It could be financial security. Your person has the Two of Swords reversed. Like they already made a decision. Yeah. And they already took off the blindfold. And it's about love. It's about a choice. We have the lovers here. The six of love. Or that's what that's about. The lovers is about a choice. The four of cups is their current energy. So here they are in this particular reading. It's called reevaluating things. It is. For some reason, they have like redone this card for sure. And we have the Nine of Swords. They're trying to gain their perspective. The Nine of Feathers. So, you know, this is it, typically it's worry, but in this particular reading, it is uh, our deck, it is perspective and self empowerment. Your person is reevaluating right now, currently. This means that they are all in their head about their situation. And the Ten of Wands reversed. I feel like they are, you know, uh, they are like, I feel like they want to, they, they, this is like dedication. I feel like they want, they, I feel like your person is rebuilding with somebody. This is what they are doing and you know it. Yeah, you are fearing this and you know it, Scorpio. And you're worried about it. Their challenge is the Five of Cups reversed. This is a new beginning, the Five of Cups reversed. It's hope and readjustment. So your person here is worried that, you know, they're trying to readjust to their new, to the situation they want. I feel like with somebody from the past, we've already seen the Six of uh, Shells in the reading. And this is the King of Swords, Logic and Justice. This is their challenge about whether or not they are going to have justice and they made the right decision. The King of Swords, King of Logic, King of... I beg your pardon, feathers. They want to rebuild with somebody. That's what this is about. And you know that because you're hip, because you're smart. And you're intuitive. The awakening card is their desire. This is a renewal with the sun. They want vitality and joy. There's so many from the past that they were with and they never got over. And that's this reading has been kind of like kind of going like always returning to that energy kind of the world card is their fear they're they're afraid they're not going to have fulfillment in the situation with the eight of pentacles dedication and progress they're afraid this it's in the reverse they're afraid this person is not going to try or this person is not going to give a shit that's what it is we're going to go to the extended scorpio i really want to see this reading uh, we're going to finish out the the gypsy spread that we have right here yes we are and we're also going to talk about how they feel about you, Scorpio. And also, uh, the current, we're going to talk about the issues at hand, the current issues, or the underlying issues, what's on their mind, their near future, how they see this, right? 
what you don't know about them or what they could be hiding and their true intentions. And they're all super affordable. I uh, appreciate you guys. Thank you so much for joining me. Please remember to like, share, and subscribe if you want the link as to these two ladies breaking down everything. Uh, send me an email to create898 at protonmail.com and I will forward that to you. Don't ask me on my page and my comments, all right? Thank you so much, you guys. Please remember to like, share, and subscribe. I do appreciate you, Scorpio. Thanks so much.